to fall 15, 25. The playoff picture can shake up like crazy because we're going to get into the conference slate. Let's jump in finally to our week six previews. We're going to start off with, I believe, Reese and Schaefer. You have this one. Feel free to go ahead and run with this one. We have the Wed Wivel Wivelwee. And I, I just say. want to, for a couple token token fans out there, they listen to a lot. Let's just give them a big boomer. No. You can say it. say it in the car. You're They're not saying it with me. Yeah. Ty hit that. Ty hit that hard. Yeah, I think he. I just think I just heard him yell it upstairs. So couldn't catch me it. saying that. Flipping it to you guys. Go ahead. Well, first of all, can we say it three times without stuttering? Red River rivalry. Red River rivalry. <laughs> red red River rivalry, rivalry. Red River oh, rivalry. Red roasted. River rivalry. All right, we're ready to roll into red it. I, this is this is definitely. The best game of the week. I mean, it's probably top five most talked about games going into the season. I think we could probably all agree with that. I, with Florida State, LSU, um, Alabama, LSU. This is definitely in that conversation. Both offenses are coming off probably their best performance of the year. I think Oklahoma especially, but um, Texas pretty much controlled the entire game. They had it through the through their yards if they didn't turn the ball over and I think it would have been an absolute slacking. My biggest question is on a couple of different sides is just how efficient can Dylan Gabriel be? I think he's definitely an X factor. Didn't play last year's game. Now would that have been the difference? Probably not because it's 49 to nothing. So I don't think he covers 49 points, but can he keep you in the game? Can he keep you on the field? And can he keep the ball out of Texas's hands is, is the big question for me. Another thing I'm kind of looking at the Oklahoma defense is they were really aggressive last week against Iowa State, which kind of led to two 50-yard touchdown passes. One, a couple of slants that just got kind of lost in the mix and taken for 67, 60 yards. So I would imagine Oklahoma would try to kind of stay closer to the back end on that this week just because Xavier Worthy, um, A.D. Mitchell, like, you got so many weapons that can just light this defense up. They're going to have to play less conservative, but uh, maybe not. Maybe Venables wants to get after them um, and be aggressive and kind of shift the tide this year. Uh, and then the last thing for me really is, it's just like, who's going to be the playmakers in this matchup? Like there are playmakers on both sides of the ball. There's uber talented offensive players on, on both sides. There's Anthony, there's Marcus major, there's Drake Stoops. Farouk, I mean, Oklahoma's got some uh, got themselves some nice receivers, and we already know about Texas receiving core. So, whose playmakers are going to make it when it really matters? All eyes are going to be on this game. So, we we're going to wait and see. Yeah, Reese, I like all that side, oh, Yep. So my thing that I saw is so Texas defense they forced eight turnovers this year, and Dylan Gabriel, I mean, quietly having like a Heisman like season. I got him out for a seventy five percent completion percentage. 1,600 yards, 15 touchdowns, two interceptions. And he's also rushed for four touchdowns as well. So he's a guy who doesn't turn the ball over a whole lot. Granted, this offense hasn't been tested by a really stellar defense. I mean, Iowa State's the best one they've seen so far, and they still put up 50. But again, it's an Iowa State team where they weren't going to score many points. So they could be aggressive um, offensively. But it's how can Gabriel and company not turn over the ball? Um, and then how can Texas' defense, who has actually been tested against some high, some better offenses this year, what can they do to prepare and make him uncomfortable in force situations where he's not going to be able to, to get settled and maybe go to a second, his third reads, and have guys in different coverages and maybe get forced to make some turnovers and things of that nature. I, th I think it's going to be a very interesting game. I, I like where that spread is at. Um, but, yeah. A couple things for this one. I have – this is the lowest total in this game since 2018 at 60 flat. Uh, or 60 and a half, 60 flat and 18 was the lowest total in the last several years. For me, it is, you know, where's Oklahoma struggled against on uh, teams on offense? It's been against a little bit better teams, a little challenger with SMU. Um, Iowa State, not as much last week, which was surprising in a lot of facets because you look at Iowa State's uh, secondary strength. But Texas is going to be the best they've seen. They constantly get to the quarterback. They're causing pressure at all times. I think that's the big worry for OU. Let's go to picks here. Reese, we'll start with you. What do you have in this one? I, if it's giving away something later, feel free to hold it. But no, what do you think? No, it's not. Give me, give me Texas to win, but I think Oklahoma will keep it close. 
Texas Schaefer, to win. You also Texas broke down to cover. Yep. Okay. Park. <laughs> go ahead and give yours without the voiceover, Schaefer. Schaefer, go ahead. Texas to win. Texas to cover. Okay, that's pretty good. I'm gonna take. I think Texas wins the game. I think it's pretty close. I think. I think it gets within three. I just think there's weird scenarios. I think Oklahoma's defense has impressed me throughout the year. It's just how they stand up against the most talented they offense they've played by far. You've seen their offense struggle, Oklahoma that is, against teams like Cincinnati, but they also had a couple of calls that game, and anything can happen in a rivalry game, but I think Texas edges them here. I'll take Texas to win. I'll take Texas to cover as well. I'm getting the better defense. I'm getting the better run game, and I think I'm getting the better quarterback that's been a lot better and not turning the football over this year. So... A lot that's a lot of Texas there. So that can only mean one thing, fellas. We'll check that one on the graphic later.